Peace everybody, Thomas Amar with another special edition of Conversation Corner. Well, what I wanted to discuss with you today is a way of eliminating fear. It's just a tip. And it's something that um, I learned many, many years ago, but I never really realized that it played a major role in helping me eliminate fear. And you know what? Want to know what that is? Well, I give give me give me two seconds, and I'll give you an idea. Especially being that I have to give you a, 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 just a glimpse of my history and my background, which consists of a different form of um, adoption. You know, a teenage parent. Uh, college dropout. I sold bootleg CDs and um, music and DVDs for years. In the midst of that, I still had an entrepreneur mindset. So I had a number of businesses that I actually started um, in the music industry. Um, I dealt in uh, energy, you know, really briefly. Um, but I also became a promoter. Um, and I really did a good job with that. I, I actually liked it a lot. I just didn't particularly care about dealing with the artists. But in the midst of all of that, I've always had different goals and aspirations. And one was to have my own eatery um, by the time I was 50. But I also wanted to be able to go into an urban neighborhood and purchase as many properties on a two block radius and remodel them and allow the people that lived in that neighborhood to come back after I put them through a schooling, uh, uh, educational process of uh, loving yourself. Self, you know, loving your neighborhood, respecting your neighborhood, keep upkeeping a property and things like that, and then place them back. And I wanted to do that as a myth in the midst of showing uh, people that actually have money how easy it really is to help people and how you can not just help them, but you can actually transform people's lives. So with that, um, going back to the purpose of this particular video, and it's talking about a, a way that I learned many years ago of g eliminating fear. And you know what that is? Really? Do you really want to know what that is? It, I, something's telling me you don't want to know. Okay, well, I'll just tell you anyway. What it is is having product knowledge. Yeah, product knowledge and preparedness. Being prepared, which is really uh, the process of getting ready to do something. Being ready when that moment comes. I was taught many years ago that preparation and uh, opportunity equals success. Well, how about this? If you're prepared and have the proper knowledge and product knowledge, every time that situation comes up where you have to discuss it or bring it into play, it becomes second nature for you to just spew it right on out. It becomes fun. In the book Napoleon Hill made called Outwitting the Devil, he talked about hypnotic uh, rhythms. And that's what, in essence, it would be. It would become second nature. It would just happen. And it would just be free-flowing as you would discuss it. So, in the midst of all of that, I've, I've heard uh, about um, uh, leaders or CEOs of companies, how they actually prepare constantly. They read a book a week because they're able to take an hour out of their day and literally just read because they're doing what I call mentally massaging themselves. They're constantly having their brain uh, work on behalf of them. And so that's what we're talking about right now. What we want to talk about and what I want to stress to you as a means of eliminating your fear is to have product knowledge. Learn as much as you can about the industry or whatever you want to discuss. And whatever you say is best for you, whatever you want to do, learn about it. Love it. Live it. Thomas Small Conversation Corner. Click the link below. Hit me up on Facebook. Hit me up on Twitter. Um, hit my link, thomasamall.com. Let's talk. I'll give you my phone number. I don't care. Peace. Remember, be smart. Think first. Think first. Be smart.